mad. Spinning. Oh, yeah, he, he, they are leading you. Oh my gosh. Alright, and we're back. So, yeah. <laughs> Compies. Fantastic. Yeah, you don't you don't like compies. We don't like them. They're <laughs> if you're low level, they're so dangerous. They're they're tiny. They're like a chicken. They're very very small. Oh, what have we got here? There's one that's stuck, and here's another one. He's got buddies, and he's level 42. This one, yeah, these guys are just gonna make my life miserable. Um, I'm I'm gonna yeah in the water. Because they really, most land animals will not follow you into the water. See, they just turned around and ran back. Um, I can probably come up to the shore. And they won't come down unless I go back up there. But it is getting really dangerous over here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to move over a little bit. Um, <coughs> I should have enough stuff in order to... Yeah, there's another. So, anyway... Um, the spitting guys, yeah. Uh, we, we call those dillos, the dilophosaur. Um, when you see them stick out their neck rough things, uh, they're, they're about to spit. So when that happens, let's see if I can do this. Yeah, so he was mad. Spitting. Oh, yeah, he, he, they are leading you. Oh, my gosh. And they come and help each other, too. So if you're not careful, you could get overrun by these things. And he... Whoa. Okay. Whew. Yeah. So, anyway. Um, now, I've killed a bunch of stuff. So now I have a bunch of hide. Ooh, and a level. Level. Um, I am almost comfortable with the uh, weight that I can carry right now. Let's go into armor. Off. Make a pair of shoes and a pair of gloves. Okay. So double tap that. <coughs> now you notice I'm collecting all this raw meat here. Um, I'm definitely going to want to do something with that. So let's go into structures, cooking. Um, by the way, you don't. When you start out the game, um, you don't have this nice categorized inventory like I have here. Uh, so this is usually what you have. But once you have a bunch of stuff, then that can get a little aggravating. So if you unclick show all, it will uh, categorize it. makes it a little bit easier to kind of uh, make things. So we're going to go to structures, cooking, and a campfire. What do I need for a campfire? I need some stone, some rocks. Fortunately, I have my hatchet out. The sun's up again, which is awesome because the night is dark and full of terrors. Check. Okay, so I am getting super hungry. Let's make this campfire. And as soon as the campfire is done, we're going to place it. We're going to start cooking some food. All right, let's put that down. And right there sounds good. Let's put some wood in there. Okay. All right, how are we doing? I have not passed out yet. But you'll notice, you'll see that there's some stars on the right-hand side of my screen now. That means that my torpor is going up because I'm hungry. If you can actually see it there. I'm at three torpor. It's not a big deal. Um, you can go for a while hungry, but um, it's not fun. So let's put this cooked meat in my hot bar so I can eat it. Oh my gosh, cooked meat is is way better, way better than berries. There's no reason, no reason at all for you to eat berries. So let's take a look around real quick now that things are a little bit more peaceful. Um, people ask me a lot, what are these uh, these lights that you see in the sky? That right there, that is a supply drop. Um, that one, because it's green, it requires you to be at level 15, which I'm not. So I'm not even going to think about going over there. There's another one, that's a purple one. That's a little bit higher, too. Um, over there, that's the volcanic island that's throwing all that smoke up in the air. We're not going over there for a very long time. Uh, you can see some more drops in the distance. And uh, you can't see it. You can't see it now. But uh, way 
On the other side of this island, um, there's actually a uh, an obelisk that uh, has some cool stuff, but we'll we'll talk about that another day. All right, so let's collect more meat, put some more meat on the fire, and let's eat some meat here. So you see, my hunger is going up. Uh, if I was hurt, it would also help me heal. So yeah, meat is pretty awesome. So we gotta start working on a little house or something um, because I really don't wanna just hang out here on the beach as cool as it is. So we're gonna have to start building here. So let's go into craftables, go to structures. Oh, let's not forget beds. Oh my goodness, oh yes, 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 totally, totally should make myself a sleeping bag. Oh my goodness, before I get killed. See, it, I mean, which wouldn't be the end of the world. I need some more fiber for that. Awesome. Right. Um, getting killed here, I'll still respawn on this island. Um, but I may have to do some running around to find where I was. So I just, I don't want to do that. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to place this sleeping bag. We're going to place it. Uh, ta -da. Let's see. Sleeping bags are the only beds that you can just drop anywhere so um, you can fast travel to different areas using a sleeping bag or a bed uh, you gen I generally don't bother with that too much uh, but now that I've got that there hey what do we have here what are you okay I, I, I'm just kidding I kind of know what this is um, this is a Lystrosaurus or as many people call them XP machines so these guys because of their loyalty and their assistance with your morale, they actually <coughs> they actually help you gain XP faster. So, but you'll notice that he's got a little message up there: put taming food in the last item slot to feed. So this is what we call passive tame. Uh, we are going to get into some taming. Um, actually, you know what? He he's probably going to tame it pretty quick. So I'll show you how this is done. So anytime that anything's a passive team, you gotta put the food that it wants in the last slot on your hotbar. And then when I move up, oh yeah, it's a little 22. Okay. When you move up, it'll say feed X, you know, push Y to feed to tame. So and then so that's this taming meter. The taming meter shows you how close you are to taming it. So now because this is a passive team, we're gonna get into what an active team is. This is actually pretty unusual. Uh, this kind of taming method, it's only for certain creatures. Um, we're going to get into how to tame animals in a little bit, but this guy's going to really be really helpful, so I want to want to get a hold of him right now. Alright, so I'm waiting for him to be hungry again. In the meantime, uh, we do need some more fiber, so I think I'm going to grab, grab some of that. Alright, so let's grab some fiber so I can start making nice little house okay How you doing? oh feed medjo very tame all right one more and he should be done uh, as anybody who plays this game with any kind of regularity may be aware at this point my taming multiplier is pretty high um, I set it up that way on purpose all right so got some more cooked meat now you notice these spoiled meat things. These do come in handy. Um, not yet. They're not particularly useful to me right now, but they will become useful later on. But just so you know, um, meat does spoil. So after a while, and I'll show you here, uh, it shows you that this is going to spoil in uh, a little over nine minutes. And what that means is that one of this stack of three will spoil. So this is a stack of 18. One of the stack of 18 will spoil in almost three minutes. So it, obviously it behooves you to kind of put things into, multiple, into more stacks because otherwise it will spoil on you. Um, this guy here, the spoiled meat, that is also going to spoil. So even your spoiled meat spoils. When that happens, it just disappears. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, where's, uh -oh, where's our buddy? Where'd you go? Hey, oh my goodness, who told you you can walk away that far? Alrighty. Okay, so. We have Tame of the Lystrosaurus, so now I get to name it. Um, what should I name this thing? 
Okay. Um. Da 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 da. da. All right. You know what? I'm drawing a blank here. So we're gonna we're gonna get into some good names, but for right now we're just gonna call her Alpha. Okay. Boom. Alpha. Boom. Okay. Can I do things ever? Would that be cool? Would that be awesome? Please. going on okay there we go all right all right so now now we've got a listosaurus so I'm gonna head over back to my little campsite over here and you'll notice that it's following me it's adorable okay so if I get a little bit closer here let's see let's see isn't that the most ugly pet you've ever seen so I'm gonna hit X to bring up this one's menu and you'll notice that it has an inventory of its own so I'm gonna put these berries into its inventory so it'll eat those berries if it gets hungry alright now this is a level 32 uh, its health is 126 which is better than mine but not by a whole lot um, not very good stamina uh, movement speed is 300 percent that's probably because it's a level 32 um, and oh it's raining Excellent. Okay, but you'll notice that fortunately that doesn't affect my fire at all. Um, it keeps asking me to pet it, right? So let's see what happens when I do that. All right, so now it's it's super excited, and it's it's very happy that I pet it. What that m does for me is it means that I'm now going to gain XP faster. Uh oh, lightning storm. So we need to we need to build ourselves a house. Um, let's take a look at this. So it leveled up. Uh, as a result of my petting it. So, on these, like, this is never going to really be a, a good combat helper. Um, what I do want to do, though, is increase its movement speed so that it does a little bit better a job at following me. Let's see how we are on this fire. Okay. Fire's still going good. We've got plenty of meat coming out of there. <coughs> Alright. Let's put on there. Okay. So now, um, the house. Yeah, let's let's build the house. So I'm gonna go into craftables and structures. So foundations. Arc building is a little confusing. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try to um, we're gonna try to do some simple stuff to start out with and then we'll get into a little bit more about how things place. Okay um maybe one more and wait when we get there but anyway so so I've built my two foundations and I put them in my hot bar so that now or now there we go okay so I'm going to put them down there and another one there okay so now I have the beginnings of my nice little house all right so now, obviously, I need walls for this house, right? So, let's build some walls. Um, let's see. Structures, thatch, walls. Alright, I need more thatch for these walls, so let's grab this guy here and go to town on this piece of driftwood here. Cut it into little pieces. Make ourselves some thatch. So now... I need one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And two. That's one. Okay, so let's. Can I just walk up onto this thing? I I can. Yeah, alright, perfect. All right. Because it's a foundation, it just kind of steps up. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the thatched walls in. I definitely want my uh, my door to face the beach. So let's put these up here. Boom. Boom. The walls pa uh, place at the edge of the uh, of the foundations. Okay. So now 
I need a I need one more thatched roof. What do I need for that? I need more thatch. Okay, that's handy. Because I happen to have some right here. Alrighty. One more. A couple more. Okay. Is this tree ever going to go down? This is the tree of never-ending thatch. Excellent. Alright. So, I already have one of these, so I'll build a second one. So, he followed along with me, which is great. He still got his little uh, green arrow on there, letting me know that he is helping me gain XP. Um, so now... And boom. Alright, so it's a nice little house there. It's not done yet, though. There's a couple more things we need. So, let's go. Oh, I can't do that because I haven't learned how to do it yet. So, let's go to the Engram points. I've been saving a bunch. So, let's go to the thatch door frame and the thatch door. Boom and boom. Alrighty, so now I can go in, thatch, door frame, door. that to craft up. Oh, the door didn't craft up. Where's my door? Where's my door? Where's my door? Alright, let's go ahead and place that door frame. And now the door. Boom. Oh, there it is! Our nice little house! Isn't that amazing? Oh my goodness. So we have a campfire cooking food. There we go. Let's get more of that food. Oh my goodness. Thank God for food. Alright, we got a sleeping bag in case we die. We can spawn there. We've got no major predators as far as I can see. And we have... Oop. Our house. Isn't this amazing? Well, there is a bit of a problem with the house. It's not always obvious. Let's see. Oh wow, I'm short enough to fit in my house. Yeah, if you're if you're super tall, if you made yourself super tall, then you will not be able to see yourself in your house. Sometimes that happens. And I gained another level it would appear. Thank you, Alpha. Appreciate it. Alrighty, so Ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, I think that's about what we're going to do now. Whoa. Yeah, sure. Anyway, so that's about all the time we have for now. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, definitely like and share the videos if you like and want to share them. Uh, if you haven't yet, please feel free to subscribe. We've got a whole bunch of other things working on the channel. Uh, we've got the Head cr Scratcher series still upcoming. Um... And of course, if you uh, if you're interested in the film film project, uh, we have all the stuff going for that. Uh, definitely ch check all that stuff out, and have a great day. Bye.